Hello agents, in this video we're going to talk about the new brand set in the Division 2 called Hardwired. It's a six piece brand set and there's two other six pieces that have came but they're available through normal drops. The Hardwired set isn't so that's why we're looking at this today. I'm going to show you how uh, you can get this set yourself. You'll notice that you have this ongoing project under your project list for the um, Hardwired brand set. It requires you to get six components and donate them, which I'm doing now, and you do that by playing the missions listed here. There's six missions and one component is attached to each mission. Uh, it's a high drop rate, but it doesn't drop all the time, so you will be replaying a lot of missions. The good news though is that you can play it on story, normal or hard, it doesn't matter what the difficulty is, uh, it doesn't change the drop rate of these components. I think I got, my RNG was really good, I completed four of them first time, uh, there was one mission where it took me two tries and then one mission where it took me seven tries. On that seven try one I did log out and log back in and it worked, could have just been coincidence. The project also wants you to collect some um, hardwired materials and this you've got to get from black husks that are patrolling the open world or in activities. Now I suggest doing this before you clear all of the invasion because there's a lot of black husk activities in invaded areas. Just kill enemies and they'll drop on the ground. You need 10 of these to donate in total. In this clip here you're going to see me killing a boss in one of the six missions and you'll see the component drop. Once you've finished the mission, as I said earlier, and the components drop, you need to move on to the next one. It will only drop this component on this mission. And, and again, it is a random drop. You might have to replay a few times. Yeah. Well, my first item. I got a gold. So hardwired end component. Hardwired end component. Yeah, so can we done on start? In this clip, you'll see some materials drop from a black husk. Um, I think it was a territory control in, in, in the invaded area. Uh, there they drop off that enemy there, and it can give you anywhere from like 5, 3 or 2. So you, you don't need to grind so hard for these 10 items to donate. Once you have found everything the project wants you to and you've donated it all, you'll complete the project and you'll have access to all six gear pieces as blueprints. Closer to getting the shade network back to full strength. You did good. I'll see you around. This is Manny. There's a project here awaiting completion, Sheriff. Go back to the White House and head upstairs to speak to the project officer to receive your awards. Just head to your crafting station to find your blueprints. Now, unfortunately, you need to collect those components and materials again in order to be able to craft them. So I assume that they're going to drop in the same way. I've not actually gone out yet to try and get any, but I'm, I'm sure that's the case because you do stack and you can collect a couple of them. Gavin actually got like four in a row when we were grinding for one of my components. Um, so yeah, you are able to stack them and that's how I believe you get them again. Um, when you put them all together though, they do have some bonuses and it is a six piece set. So we're going to have a look at that now. From what I believe, uh, you don't get any like talents or anything for having one piece of this set. You're going to need two pieces for them to start kicking in. And that's the same with all six piece brand sets I think. Uh, so for having two pieces of hardwired, it's going to give you 20% skill off. For having three pieces, you're going to get increased shock duration on top of that. For having four pieces, you'll get 20% skill power. Uh, the fifth piece of hardwired will give you tamper-proof talent, which is electrify your deployed skills, uh, hive turrets and pulse sensor, causing enemies wandering too close to be shocked and can occur every 10 seconds. And then for having the final piece there, uh, you get feedback loop. And this talent, um, it says killing with a skill resets the cooldown of your other skill. Repairing a friendly agent's armor from zero resets the cooldown of your skills and can only occur every 15 seconds. And when a skill cooldown ends or reaches full charges, gain bonus damage and repair to all skills for 15 seconds. So as you can see, this is pretty much a skill Build. It's going to take a lot of grinding to get it there and uh, to get every piece and then you're not guaranteed what gear score is. It's going to be between 450 and 500 so uh, well lots and lots of grinding for like a high 
uh, gear score set there. Uh, but that's it, guys. If this has helped, please do hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And do check the video description to find a link to our community. Um, if you're looking for other agents to play with, it's a great place to come and join. Plenty of people offering a helping hand there. And do sub to the channel if you want to see more content. Uh, thanks again for watching this. And until the next video, peace out.